Welcome to this week's episode of The, the Disco, Disco Freaks. I'm Joe. And I'm John. This week we'll be continuing our four week series, the third week, getting close to the end. This week we'll be doing it on Hollywood Studios. If you've seen our other videos, it has been unbelievably true facts about Walt Disney World. That was delayed. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into these. So if you're um, going to the parks early, you're gonna be there for uh, right when they open. We suggest going to the less popular rides, such as um, Great Movie Ride, uh, because everybody runs to the main two rides, well, main three rides: Toy Story Mania, Rock and Roller Coaster, and um, Tower of Terror. But if you go to Great Movie Ride, it's going to have no weight one. But then you can go to Star Wars after that and go to that, you know, Holly, um, the Sunset Boulevard, everything on that. Uh, when it's less busy, like midday, and everybody will be out doing the other stuff while you're doing that. So, it works out. Mm -hmm. And then, if you look very closely at the gas pump as you're entering, if you look very, very closely, you can see that it has the opening date. Of Disney's MGM Studios slash Hollywood Studios. And in Fantasmic, there's multiple, um, very cool, um, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Stools. Stools. Okay, so for instance, uh, the actual stage where it all happens, it's surrounded by water. Um, and that water may look deep, but it's only a foot and a half. But in that foot and a half, it's such a big area... That it, it has 1.9 million gallons of water. That's crazy. And then, if you've seen the show before, you've seen that three different Mickeys appear in the last segment in like boom, boom, boom. Now, I'll give you the secret tips, well, trick that they use. So, first. Beware, this is spoiler. So, first, Steamboat really comes out. And then, as soon as that gets off, the, the Sorcerer Mickey pops up at the top of the mountain because he's on a elevator lift like they use in the sh like shows for stunts that go up really fast. So he just goes, and it looks like he appeared out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. and he's going, and there's tons of fireworks. That go along with his emotions. And then he goes down as quickly as he appeared with the puff, puff, puff of smoke around him. And then the Mickey at the bottom pops up with the same way. Mm -hmm. But different elevator, obviously. Yeah. Otherwise, that'd be a really bad collision. <laughs> so, um, yes. So next, the Maleficent the, that she turns into the dragon. That... Equipment that, um, what you call that? Dragon. A robot, the dragon, yeah, robot. that dragon robot thing, the Bobby weighs 32,000 pounds. That is crazy. She has like this huge winged arm, it's crazy. So, if you bring the great movie ride, you'll see that there's a plane in one of the scenes, it's a real plane actually, but it's cut in half. The front half was used on Great Movie Ride. And, and if you've written Jingle Jungle Cruise. Jingle? Hey! Okay. Save the goof in this book. So, if you've written the Jungle Cruise, you've seen the crash plane that they're always making mm -hmm. jokes of. Like, it's plain to see. I took a crash course. And that is the second half of the great movie ride plane. Mm -hmm. And Indiana Jones, when you're in line, you'll see a well. And there's a rope coming out of it. No one usually thinks to pull it. 
but do it. You'll hear screams from the bottom of the well. <laughs> On Rock and Roller Coaster, each car has a different um, song that, the, um, that plays during the ride. So, for instance, when I went on, when we posted the picture before, uh, in one of our videos of me on Rock and Roller Coaster, it was, Walk this way! Da -da 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 -da. But, there's also other ones by Aerosmith, like Love in an Elevator and Dude Looks Like a Lady. But, they use play on words, so it sounds more roller coaster. Like in Love in an Elevator, it's Love in a Roller Coaster. In Tower Terror, it's uh, just let me say, it's just an amazing ride. If you haven't ridden it, I don't care if you like it or not, it's quick. Ride it once, it's the best ride ever. Um, but a lot of people don't know that there's actually three or four drop sections um, to the ride, but um, there's like you go through different rooms, and like you will never, unless you go like every single day, tons, tons of times. But there's probably about hundreds and hundreds of different se sequences they can do. You can go down first, you can go up first, you could um, go forward. I mean, the elevators aren't just going up and down, they're moving through the hotel, and they have hundreds of rooms. It's really, really cool. And thousands of sequences. I mean, it's totally unique. Every time you go, it's just not expected. It's awesome. And as we've mentioned in previous videos, You'll notice on tall buildings, there are blinking lights, so planes don't crash into them. So, Disney did not want to do this, because they didn't want their ride to look foolish. So, they made their building 199 feet instead of the 200 feet. That is That makes the requirement for a light. Mm-hmm. Way to go, Disney. Way to go. Although now it's also a no-fly zone, so it shouldn't be no problem anyways, but... Eh, better just in sorry. case. So, Streets of America, it, it's had to say goodbye, but uh, it's going soon. Pretty much going. But it's making room for something awesome. So that is Star Wars Land and Toy Story Land. We'll get more on that later. But... Uh, Streets of America, when it was built, they actually used it as a real movie set. Um, it was very different than it was it is now. Um, not too much, though. Uh, that didn't really make sense, but it was a little bit different. And they could actually use it for different movie sets. And right now, if you go, like, really, really soon, it, before it gets totally everything taken out, there is a Singing in the Rain photo op, where if you grab the umbrella and hold it onto the pole, um, the umbrella, it will... Rain all over on you. Pretty cool. And then, sadly, the back lot tour is gone. It's gone. It was such a good ride. <laughs> no, I never wrote it. It was such a good ride, though. Tasper Canyon is all gone now. They just finished demolishing it. Yeah, just the other day they finished taking all the pieces down. Although, if you look very closely, there are still some of the props nearby. So mm -hmm. hurry, if you want to see them, hurry up and go before they're all gone. Now, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M I C. See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because, because we like, like you. M O U S E. Uh-huh.